Here is my top 5 when it comes to misconceptions about HR analytics. Number 5. HR analytics starts with software. Now, technology helps but never drives decision making in HR. It all starts with mission. For example, who should we hire? How do we keep them? What are our best sources? How can we make our people better? Number 4. Tracking everything will future-proof you. If you're tracking everything, you're most likely tracking all the wrong things. This is not like tracking sales. The idea is to define simple but relevant metrics. Looking for example, here are the 12 most advertised by LinkedIn. Number 3. HR analytics is exclusively for scientists. The most successful HR analytics projects start with pragmatism and often with spreadsheets. I will include a link to one of my previous posts with a simple example. The idea is to start small and make some quick wins so you can eventually create new roles. Number 2. People analytics does not work. Check out these 10 slides for concise examples of how companies such as LinkedIn, NASA, Google, Adobe or Rentokill are already taking advantage from this. Finally, number one, HR analytics and big data are the best friends. HR analytics is all about collecting data in a disciplined way for a precise mission while well, big data is about collecting general information about general trends and to measure sentiment.